My heart will lie forever in this ring. Firmly held by the circular symbol, my soul can never escape, although it would never truly desire to try. I am bound so firmly for eternity to the woman that I love with bonds stronger than the sorrow and pain which fill my mind and my body today. A love unknown to the poet who believes that they can capture or even fathom the depth and gravity of a soul like hers with simple words. What created such astonishing beauty cannot be comprehended by anything other than a feeling. A feeling that inspires when you're lonely and unsure, that lifts you up out of the darkness and above the clouds where the sunlight can warm your face unhindered. A feeling that frightens the very deepest parts of you that you try to ignore when you realize for the first time how limitless the love you hold truly is. And frightens you the second time just the same. The logical left brain may analyze the symptoms but never forget that the real cause is not to be understood but experienced. It is a place in your heart and around your being in which time and space lose their meaning and to drift without aim and avoid so full of life is the only desire. The only thing which gives meaning to your breath and flowing blood. So great a thing that once it is found, it cannot be left. It will not be left. It is as alive as you and more dynamic than motion. It becomes you, and you it. And through him, I am hers. Hers completely. And no force is able to shake me from this foundation on which a glorious castle has sprung unbeknownst to the owner. But when God himself builds a fortress to enclose two hearts in one soul, it is not a temporary affair. Before time began to flow through the cavities of the undefined and spill over into reality like the trickling branches of a melting stream, a knot was tied that cannot be undone. And the whole of all the world's oceans could crash against the walls of this fortress, and hell itself could rain liquid fire upon the rope in which this strange and beautiful union was consecrated, yet not a thread would lie out of place. Like water on a stormy shore, if all I know and every last part of me breaks and reforms, dies and is reborn, changes shape, alters fate, crashes apart, again and again into an unrecognizable semblance of what used to be this man, one certainty remains. One certainty remains, and it brings surcease to the weariness of my consciousness and a steadiness to my trembling hands, a courageousness to the less impressive character hiding in the caverns of my mind and a oneness so profound that to draw even a breath in the harmonic silence seems sacrilegious. Through him, I am hers always hers, always yours. And soon the starlight will fade for the coming day and I find myself on a mountain as I thoughtfully linger, thinking how this ring with my heart could not caress a more perfect finger. <laughs>